ค่ะWorkshop five. <laughs> I got confused. I think I, I named it four. I'll change that. I'll fix that later. <clears throat> okay, juggling. Juggling is something that's easy to do, and uh, all it is is just catching aerials and keeping them going. Yeah. So. I will demonstrate. That's juggling. And if you do it in one direction, you can do it in the opposite direction. Right. Like that. And it's just um, getting used to catching and throwing and then recatching and starting over. Now you can do juggling, switching hands. Not like that. <laughs> you can do it switching hands, yeah. You can do it one-handed. You can do opposite hand. It's actually, it's good for like hand-to-eye coordination to work on juggles. So juggling is a cool thing. And you can get a little creative with them. And throw them into a combo, and it looks pretty cool. So, okay, what was the next thing? Steamroller. Steamroller, okay. A steamroller is what I call... Let's see, I have to do it first. Let me do it first. Okay, that's a steamroller. And the way that I did it is I start with... hand stall or a mount. I don't, I'm not sure like how to call that, but it's going to stall on my switch hand. That's how I do it. And so that's the first step. It stalls here. You can do that this way. You can have it from an aerial stalling here. There's various ways that you can get into that. And from that, 
you're going to launch and catch the bead that's closest to this part of the hand and you're going to let it bounce off this way and then roll. You're going to roll the bead. So it bounces that way, this way. It's hard to do slow. <laughs> but yeah, it's a... Uh, that's why I call it a roller, because you're rolling forward, and then you're rolling the opposite way, and then you're rolling this way. And each time you do that, it's going to do rebounds on the opposite sides of your hands, like, like that. Okay? So, I'll try it again. I didn't do that right. <laughs> I'm out of practice. There. And that, my friend, is a steamroller. What was the other thing? Um, scissor wrap, okay. A scissor wrap is something that, that I call the scissor wrap, but let me see. Okay, it starts off with the index, right? The index finger. So you're gonna do one wrap like that. So it's wrapping once, okay? Then, from here, you're going to release this bead, and you're going to grab this bead, okay? And when you grab it, you're going to just, you can just rebound it however you want. And then when you get back, you release this one and grab this one again. And that, that gets you out of the scissor wrap. So it's kind of like a tangle, I guess, if you think about it. And I'll show you what it looks like, really. I don't know if you saw that. I'll do it again. So yeah, it's just wrapping once, and then releasing this one and catching this one and letting this one do a rebound and then releasing this one and catching this one and then you get back out of it. So those are my scissor wraps. I don't see anybody doing it but it looks pretty cool. You can do it in a combo. You can do it the opposite direction. It takes a bit of getting used to uh, positioning your hands around the, the, the cord to get that grip that you need so that you can uh, do the rebound on the other, on the opposite bead or whatever. It looks really cool if you can get it like really fluid, really in one motion that doesn't require too much repositioning of your hands because the, when, when you're like grabbing one bead to another you can you can get a little fumbly with it but it's fun you just have to do it more get more used to grabbing the bead you need Okay, this one's flying, man. I'm flying through these. Okay, what's... Okay, a thumb wrap trap. Okay, a thumb wrap trap <laughs> is what I call wrapping the thumb 
once, and then you grab this one, and you just let it, if you're already in like a loop, like a locked loop kind of. So, that's it. I call it a thumb wrap trap because you're, you're kind of locking that cord in place. And when you lock it in place, you're releasing and grabbing this one just to let the bead hang and then come back up and catch it and then you do this. So you're never actually leaving that thumb, the safety of the thumb. You're never leaving that. See what that is? But you have to have the, <laughs> trying to do it slow. And every time I do things slowly, it looks weird. But yeah, this is... I can do it with my switch hand really good. I can't do it with my opposite or my no. My dominant hand as well, like I try to, but I never really practice it. Oh, well there it is. I'm telling you, if you're not used to doing tricks on your switch, you should totally just experiment trying them and you will get them. So it's not something impossible. You can, you can totally do it. Hey Pepe, what's up? You like my thumb trap? My thumb wrap trap? <laughs> what's up man, what are you doing? I have another stream I'm gonna do today for my music stuff, so... And for that, I'm going to need to go and get some batteries because I don't have any fresh batteries. <laughs> Which kind of sucks. Because that's when everything goes wrong and you're not prepared. Okay. But I never prepare for these and everything seems to go okay. So what's the next thing? Oh, knee bounces and body bounces. Okay. Knee bounces and body bounces. Uh That's a knee bounce. <laughs> What's up, Eddie? What are you doing? Okay, a knee bounce is just dropping the bag really. I like to do it from, from this position, yeah? And then I just, and then, oh, not aiming. <laughs> so then you just bounce it off your knee, and then it pops back up and then from there it's an aerial and you can catch it and do all the things that you you like to do I like the idea of using other body parts <laughs> because it's uh, it just opens up a whole range of emotions that you probably wouldn't do and it makes it more fun it's kind of like a hacky sack thing I guess bounce it like that off of your off of your knee. You can bounce it off of your arm. That's why I'm saying body because you can do it anywhere. You can do some some arm stuff like that. You can do oh shout out to Bear Cardistry, I think is his name. I saw him on Instagram do a shoulder. Well I'm still not very good at it. <laughs> But I saw him do a shoulder assist where he just bounced it off his shoulder and he caught it and went back into a roll. So that's using, that's another example of using like your body for rebounds. I think he called it a shoulder rebound. I can't, I'm not really good at it, but I saw him do it and I was like, oh, cool. That's, that's kind of what I'm covering today, that's one of the things. So shoulder, I guess you could just like bounce it off. You don't even need to, if you do like this, that's, that also qualifies, I think. I like to use my shoulders, I like to use my arms, I like to use my leg, I'll rebound that way. I don't do it a lot, you don't see me do it because I don't, I'm not always filming. <laughs> 
But I'm always doing strange things when I play. So. I like that. I'm actually, I'm, you know what? I'm going to take it. I think I'm going to start doing that. Shoulder rebounds. Those I already do. And then the hand, you can always do the hand. That's easy to do. But every time you do it, you have to make sure that the bead is on the end and not on the hand because then you're gonna, it's gonna hurt. You're gonna hit your knuckles. You don't wanna do that. So you want it to always be like that, hanging on the outside of your hand, hanging on the outside like that. That makes the bounce better and it makes it less painful. <laughs> Where's the Sean? The who? The C H O N. <laughs> what is that? You have to tell me because I don't know. <laughs> so I kind of flew over all of these really quick and there was really nobody in, or I don't know if people were watching but I didn't see anybody in the chat and I already kind of went over everything but I can go over it again, like do a recap. Yeah, what is this S, what is this C-H, C-H-O-N, I don't know what that is. <laughs> is it stand for something? Look it up on YouTube. I can't do that right now, but I'll do it later. <laughs> it would be a lot cooler if you just tell me. <laughs> Bell song, uh, or Bally song. I see, I always say it wrong. Bally song, yes, I have, but I'm not very good at it. I can only like open it and close it really cool, but I can't like do all the crazy things they do. I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, it's a band, okay. Hey, Jamie. Okay, so I was going to kind of go over these things again that I did. The first thing was juggling. So this is juggling. You go the opposite direction. You can do variations. And your juggles. All of that is really cool to do. So I totally recommend trying it. Juggling is pretty cool. Especially when you have a chord in between. You're not going to lose. It's not like, like normal juggling when you like lose your balls and they go flying around. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's always a good thing. So, okay, where was I? So, juggling. Juggling, you can alternate hands when you juggle. If you want to do that, you can do that. That's actually fun to do. It's good for hand-eye coordination, so all of that. It's, it's good for vision. <laughs> you can train your eyes better if you have something to, to aim for, something to grab. It's a good stress reliever. It's a good fun thing to do in between all the technical stuff. But, you know. I encourage people to do that more. And what else did I do? I did I did the steamroller. Oh, okay, now I know what I was doing wrong. I was doing it opposite way. Okay, the steamroller is a top hand stall, and then you're flipping it in this direction. And when you do that, the bead is inside your hand. 
then you just slap it with your other hand and then you roll forward on each hand alternating. So the rolling motion that you're doing, it just makes it look cool when you're doing it. You could just go like this. Well, no, I guess rolling it is the only way to really do it because it just makes it easier. You roll it as you rebound. That's a steam roller. Okay, so I'll show you again. Oh no, I got twisted. Oh no, I did it wrong. I'm showing you how to do it wrong. <laughs> there, that's a steam roller. That's a good little two hand trick that I came up with. The other thing, the thumb, the thumb wrap trap, and that's just wrapping the thumb once, releasing, releasing that bead, holding onto this bead, letting the bead do a little rebound. It's not going to go anywhere because it's already it's locked. That's the trap, so it's locked in there. And then you bounce back, grab this bead, and reset. So that is the thumb wrap trap. That's a fun one. And what was the other thing? Uh, oh, knee bounces, body, body assists. Thing. It's cool when you catch it. <laughs> like I'm trying to look while I do it. I, sh I shouldn't. I shouldn't be looking. I should just do it. <laughs> with that or you can do shoulder, arm, wrist, rebounds, rebound off your leg, you can do that, there's no rule that says you can't do that, everything. Tell me if there's anything that you want help on. And, and if you do, then I'll give you pointers on all the stuff that I just did. But for now, I'm just going to freestyle. Oh, the pinky. Yeah, the pinky is a little bit tricky to do. <laughs> Even for me, I'm still, I'm still I learned them, but it took a while. And here's a combo. I'm gonna try to do this combo. I've been like working on it for a while. Aw, oh, thank you. The bee's knees. That's cool. Okay, so here's here's a rolling combo that I've been working on. And it starts with the index to the pinky. And then I go from the pinky to the thumb, so we can do it. And then back to an index again. Something like that. I've been trying to incorporate variations of rolls from different fingers that you're not used to seeing because everybody does the ladders just, you know, each finger that's next in line. A good way to practice your, your pinky rolls is uh, just to do them in a wrap and then continue that wrap. 
get used to doing that with your pinky. It's kind of hard because your, hand, your fingers are like, they don't want to... Oh, hey, what's up, Clyde? Yeah, your fingers kind of tend to want to get in the way. You have to get used to moving them backwards and moving the, that pinky forward. So you have all that space you need. How long are you playing with right now? Hello, Andre. How long am I, have all, how long have I been playing? Like totally or how do you mean? I'm playing my music in the background by the way. That's that's a lot of my music that I compose on a Nintendo DS. Uh, I have been playing Beglery since I'm gonna say three years now. Three. Oh, my string. Oh, the string. The string is kind of long, but that's only because I'm short. <laughs> and it looks way longer <laughs> than what it really is. And I have, like, small hands with long fingers. I have, like, really weird proportions. But if you wrap it twice, that's a good way for you to see how long I, I play. But if you get the dimension, it's six and three quarters long from B to B. But like I say, that, that only depends on like your pants, your proportions. This is like the better way to describe it. I wrap, I guess, once and another time. And then they both end up right there. So that, they used to be closer to my finger, but I have since lengthened them a little bit longer. So I guess of you now. See, I wanna say it's three, but that's like really hard to, the two finger thing is like the more, the more common way to, to figure it out. Holly! What's up, Holly? Oh, I hit the bone. <laughs> Oh, the pain. Oh, the agony. Okay. <laughs> I got over it. This hurts, man. These are hex nuts. These are, these are, man, that's, ooh. Ow. I got a boo-boo, Holly. Oh. time. have 27 minutes so far. Let's see, what else can I do? I've kind of gone over everything, Holly. I, I went over everything uh, that I said I was going to do. But basically, I'll do like a review real quick again. This is juggling. Juggling. You know juggling from thumb chucks. It's a lot easier to think of it with thumb chucks because uh, you know they're balls. But you can do it with these too. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch sets. Uh, what's the what's the next thing? Oh, the scissor wrap. I forgot about that one. The scissor wrap, I do quite a bit. I call it that because it looks like scissors to me. <laughs> oh, you're back. Okay, so I went over juggling. I went over a scissor wrap. That's a scissor wrap. A scissor wrap is wrapping one time on the index, releasing this bead, grabbing this bead, doing a rebound downward and back again. So you're going like this, you're going like this, 
And when it comes back this way, you release this bead and grab this bead, and that gets you out of it. So that's that's my scissor back. I don't see anybody else do it. It's easier if you have a shorter string. I have since started playing with longer, so it's a little tricky to do it, but it's fun. <clears throat> What's the other thing? Uh, a thumb wrap trap. Thumb wrap trap is like that. You're wrapping the thumb. It's similar to what I just did with the finger. So you're wrapping, you're wrapping the thumb one time. <laughs> one, <laughs> uh, one time, yeah, so it's wrapped. Then you release that one, you grab this one, you just go down, and then you go back up. And when you go back up, you grab this bead, and release that one, and then you release it again. So that's, and the reason I call it a trap is because you, the string is like pretty much trapped. There's nowhere it can go. Once you've done that, it's kind of like a, a trap move. And that's, anybody can do it. You can do it, Clive. That was the first thing I started learning when I was doing a switch play. Oh, do you see that halo? Do you see the halo shining and twinkling with the light and all? <laughs> yeah, y'all didn't know. I was always wearing a halo. I just, I just was, I just had it hidden, so all you could see was the chain. And I think I did, I did a live stream like that, but then. Now, Halo can be released, so I can show it. <laughs> and what was the other thing? Oh. Knee bounces, that's like a hacky sack uh, trick. I'm uh, encouraging people to use more of your body as a rebound uh, space or whatever. So. Your arm, you can rebound off your arm, your shoulder, your leg, and then you can just do a knee aerial. So that would be like that, like so. I think I'm over my time. <laughs> oh, if we use noses, I don't even know how how to do that. <laughs> that would be tricky. I, I don't even, like, ugh. that's a soccer thing, right? <laughs> or no, I guess it's in your head. I, I'm confused. Okay, the phone is ringing. I'm out of time. Yeah, it seems long, but it, it, believe me, there's longer uh, cord. People can run, like, I've seen people run 10 inches. So this is just six and three quarters. It's really not that long. It just looks way longer on me because I'm petite. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Thanks for watching. <laughs>